Hi, welcome back. I'm Melissa Lang. Today we're going to be covering hip flexor stretches. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to set yourself up in a kneeling position. Try and find something soft to kneel on for those of you with sore or older knees. Um, so pillows or soft cushioning is great. When you set yourself up, alignment is really important. So make sure that your big toe is way out in front of your knee. You never want to be in a position where your knee surpasses your big toe. It puts too much stress on the knee. So, again, thinking of your pelvis like a bucket, you want to tip the bucket out the back, so drawing your pubic bone up towards your navel. Because of the position of your hip flexors here, you're going to think about drawing up, and this then gets to stretch away. So you move forwards, lifting out of your spine. Feel like your spine is being pulled up out of your pelvis. Place your other hand here for balance. Then take you the same arm as the leg that's down up into the air. Push up through the heel of your hand and you're going to do a slight side bend, but not to contract down on the, the side that you're bending towards. Think about lifting up and over. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, again think of your pubic bone coming up towards your navel and your navel being pulled out through the back. This will engage the iliopsoas to stretch more. So breathing in and breathing out. For anyone that sits at an office for long periods of time or has long flights that they have to take, this is an essential stretch. It opens out the hip flexors and allows the lower back to be released.